All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about in car expenses is fuel consumption. And, and this is something that's on everyone's mind. We want to have the car with the lowest fuel consumption because fuel costs a lot of money. And the way it's measured is in the amount of fuel, the number of litres of fuel, sorry, that it burns per 100 kilometres. So for example, um, I went on the internet on carsguide.com.au and there was a little article that said a Toyota Yaris will typically burn 6.4 litres per 100 kilometres and the Toyota Corolla was burning 4.2 litres per 100 kilometres. So by this article I could see that the Corolla was cheaper to run for some reason. All right. Now when you calculate fuel consumption they've given a formula and I'm going to show you how to do it with the formula first but I'm going to be honest, I don't like the formula. There is another method that I prefer to use. So I'm going to show you both. Anyway, in example two, Harry wanted to know the fuel consumption of his car. And after 560 kilometers of driving, he noticed that he had used 40 liters of fuel. What is the fuel consumption of his car? All right, so let's do it first with the formula fuel consumption we'll just write it shorthand so it's a fraction and it says amount of fuel in liters so he used 40 liters times it by 100 over the distance traveled so he traveled 560 kilometers all right so 40 times 100 divide 560 comes out to about 7.14 liters per 100 kilometers all right so that means every time he travels 100 kilometers his car has burned 7.14 liters now i'm going to show you the other method which i prefer because it means i don't have to memorize a formula okay and it's the same um, method i've been using over and over again um, in lots of different situations four boxes three numbers and two arrows and the reason I like this is because we're using the same method over and over and we're not having to memorize things as much all right so he used 40 liters over a period of 560 kilometers and you'll notice that you're trying to figure out how many liters he burns for every hundred kilometers so we're just going to write a hundred kilometers under the 560 all right, so we're trying to figure out what we're dividing by, and the best way to figure that out is to go 560 divide 100, which will actually give you 5.6. And let's double check that 560 divide 5.6 equals 100. So that's correct, which means we do the same thing on this side. And if I go 40 liters divide 5.6, I'm going to get 7.14 liters. And there we have our solution in a different way 7.14 liters per 100 kilometers and that is the end of example two